1963, Michael Harrington wrote The Other America, Poverty in the United States. President Kennedy and the nation responded. The war on poverty and ABCD were born. Fifty years later, ABCD has assembled a panel of experts to discuss what's become of the other America, the war on poverty then and now. Harrington wrote, Americans should be unwilling to live in a society that having the resources to provide everyone a decent standard of living was instead divided into two nations. Does Michael Harrington's Other America still exist today? And if so, how is it different? You know, there's certainly an underclass, there are poor people. I think they're maybe even more politically invisible than before. How is it that here we are in 2012 spending a trillion dollars a year in public money on programs meant to help the poor, and we still have uh, 46 million Americans who are officially listed uh, as being in poverty. Yeah, I, mean, I wouldn't disagree for a second that a lot of money is misspent. Less than 2% of the Massachusetts Department of Corrections budget is spent on re-entry and job training programs. I mean, this is this is an absolute prescription for uh, for continued madness. I just wanted to know what your thoughts on like individual responsibility. We were talking about that earlier. I don't think that we should find it embarrassing or politically incorrect to say. There are a lot of things we're willing to do to help, but you've got to be willing to help yourself as well. We knew that, that poor people were held down by uh, the choices that presented themselves in poor communities. A lot of this has to do with the opportunities that the society provides. If you would want to say, how can we maximize those opportunities? How much do you think the, the backlash against poverty is often racialized? I, I think people are more judgmental about black poverty, more apt to talk about values and, and violence in connection with um, black poverty than white poverty. You look at just statistics, incarceration rates, air pollution rates, public services that are you know afforded these communities, elected representatives. To have the conversation about poverty without addressing them is really missing the, the overall picture. We cannot, in this 50th anniversary, both of the other America and of ABCD, let the invisible other America continue. And it's one of our goals and responsibilities to really raise that awareness. It's also a responsibility of ours to find solutions to it and at ABCD really implement some of those solutions.